Okay, Aaron Parker, Parker's Safes and Vaults. Here's a look today at a couple American Rebel vault doors. We've got an outswing over here on the right and an inswing over here on the left. So the inswing, the model number for this one is going to be AR for American Rebel and then V for vault and I for inswing. So ARVI and this one, as you might have guessed, is ARVO for outswing. So these, uh, these doors are built... Um, at the same place the champion doors are built so you may notice a, a resemblance and uh it's kind of cool we, we helped champion get their door off the ground years ago and uh, champions under new ownership now so there's a lot of changes going on uh this being one of them and uh so we're we're kind of excited about it um i'm i'm, uh, I'm glad they're under new ownership so the um the two doors that we have here these are going to be standard models right so so the rough opening for both of these doors is going to be 38 by 83. The, uh, the outswing weighs 875 pounds, and the inswing over here weighs 950 pounds. Uh, the outswing has, uh, let's see, 24 door bolts. We'll look at those in a second. And the inswing has 21. No, uh, no door bolts on the bottom on the inswing. Uh, fire rating, they really don't have a rating, but they do use... Uh, three layers of 5 8 inch type x drywall type x just means that um, it's got fiberglass in it so it shouldn't just fall apart when it's when it's heated up in a fire so type x is the kind you want in a um, you know any kind of safe or fire rated application building whatever so type x and uh, let's see so that should put it i would say three layers of 5 8 per you know we're probably going to be if i had to guess somewhere in that 1500 degree 60 well, maybe 90 minute range something like that all right so let's just have a look at these so the um good look at the in swing here it's got a really cool frame on it it's just unique it looks really cool and um this has a quarter inch they both have a quarter inch plate here on them so quarter inch and then followed by a 12 gauge inner We've got this side pull handle here a five spoke handle and uh, these ones come with an electronic lock. I just ordered them that way. Uh, for vault rooms, it seems like a lot of folks like an electronic lock. But uh, we can get them with mechanical locks, which, you know, whatever you might want. So let's see. We have a gear drive here. So let's get into this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and pound for an S&G lock. It has a gear drive. So we've got to turn this about two revolutions. And uh, nice and smooth there on the gear, on the gears and everything, on the bolt works. That thing, if you're wondering what that is, that's a little detent. So when that door shuts, it'll seat against the frame right here. And that'll let you roll the bolt. So if that door is open, you can't roll the bolts, which is a good thing. That way we don't inadvertently roll the bolts from, you know, when the door's hanging open. And then we go to shut it and it mars up our finish. So uh, threshold here, we're at about, I would say, off the floor. We're probably three quarters of an inch there on that first layer right here and then maybe another inch right here and that's where your door seats up against let me uh this is your quarter inch plate here and then let me jump, jump in here so kind of have a look at the fire seal so we've got a intumescent fire seal on this outside edge of the door and uh, that's that's kind of beveled right there and then it returns back just on a on a kind of a square plane there and uh, then this is more this is also an intumescent seal So we've got two of those all the way around the door perimeter. And as far as anchoring goes, we're going to have, we're going to have, whole, this is not a clamshell. So what we're going to do with this, with this is anchor it in place, right? So let me get, so we've got, let's see if you can see that, but so half inch anchors would be good. I suppose you could use three eighths. We'd probably use half on this. And uh, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each side, and then four along the top, all right? The frame is a quarter inch, so nice stout frame. And let's see, we've got this door bevel here. It's got like a return right there, and that's what seats up against that frame. And then we can just roll these bolts here with this three-spoke handle on the inside. So those all return in. It's still a gear drive on the inside. 
And then this is your emergency egress. So if you're locked in, if you know, as soon as you roll these bolts on the inside, you're locked in, right? So you would have to use this to get out, right? So I'm not locked in because the door's not installed. So watch this, I'll just slip right through here. Okay, so now here is the outswing door. All right, so, out, oh, door gaps, forgot to mention that, but yeah, nice and tight. They're pretty good for a production, for a production safe. You know, I'd say, oh, man, the tolerances are actually pretty good on that. Uh, three sixteenths, maybe, somewhere in there. Uh, five spoke handle on this one as well, side pull handle here. We've got the same lock. Um, the hinges, there's three of these. About the same uh, distance off the ground there. Three hinges, and they do have the hinge finials on there. It's a little bit decorative. There's the American Rebel logo. All right. And if you're not, you know, if you haven't checked out American Rebel on uh, Facebook or anything like that, they're kind of, they're worth a visit. They're, they're, uh, they brand themselves as America's patriotic brand. And, and I kind of have to, you know, there's, there's other, uh, good safe companies out there. And so oh, these guys build safes too. I forgot to mention that, but, um, but you know, they are, they are in that patriotic bracket, I would say, you know, flag waving, uh, all that kind of stuff. I think they even have their own brand of beer, you know, American Rebel beer, kind of, <laughs> kind of cool. But I haven't, uh, the CEO, uh, Andy Ross, I haven't had the pleasure of shaking his hand, but uh, I'm hoping our paths will cross here at some point. This frame's a little bit different. We have rows of three here on the, on the uh, anchor. Still half inch, but uh, rows of three. And that's, to me, that's kind of cool. I wouldn't fill every, um, I wouldn't fill every hole with a with an anchor, but what that lets you do is if you run into rebar or maybe an anchor just doesn't really want to hold or something, you can always just move it over a hole or you know something like that. So I, I would probably start, depending on how thick the wall is, maybe start on these inner, on these inner holes, and then if you had to, you could move you could move out one or something like that if we had a problem. But a double step door here, a quarter inch plate door as well, and then a quarter inch plate frame. Uh, but a double step, and then you get, you know, you get, you get a good, um, yeah, a good purchase around the frame there for the bolts. But I would say, and, and about the same on the inside here on this frame, uh, you're going to have, that might be a little thicker than the other one. I don't think too much, if anything, maybe five eighths. And then, of course, right here is just, um, that's like bar stock there, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, that's about, I'd say that's about maybe three quarters. And uh, let's see, I don't know if I did the weight on these yet or not, but yeah, I think I did. Oh, if not, the uh, the outswing there is 870. Get this shut here. Oh, got to get it shut. There we go. All right. And the in swing is 950. So there you go. Some American Rebel vault doors uh, built, under the, uh, built uh, at the Champion plant. Um, yeah, champions under new ownership. All right. Well, Hey, thanks for having a look. If you have any questions there, just leave them in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And, uh, you know, like, and share and all that it helps us out a lot. I know everybody says to do that, but Hey, if you do, it does help. So <laughs> I would appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, it's just, uh, well, that's it. I think I covered everything. I was going to go over the batteries and all that, but every lock's different. So anyway, thanks for having a look and um, hopefully we'll make some more videos soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.